Where the heck is this place? Looky food. Pow! Pow makes Detroit-style pizza. You may remember we went to Toronto, we tried Detroit-style pizza, and we loved it. So, we want to find out if all Detroit-style pizza is created equally, or if it's just that Descendant is really amazing in Toronto. So we're at POW in Calgary, or I am anyway. I'm going to pick up three pizzas here, take them home to Martina, and we will let you know how they are. Let's go. Where the heck is this place? We are so excited to try this pizza because as you remember, and I'm sure as Chris said, we loved Descendants Pizza in, is it Descendant? Singular. Descendant, okay. We loved their pizza when we were in Toronto and we want to see if it is all Detroit style pizza or not that's this good. We got three different flavors. We're getting a little adventurous today. Okay, so the first one we are going to try is called Italian Street Meat. Oh boy. Wow. Look at that. That is amazing looking, holy moly. Yeah. That's amazing looking. Yeah. So, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Come on, baby, light my fire. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Get the sticks, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's still steaming. Here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> Ooh, it's good. Oh wow. 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 I honestly was, I keep expecting the dough to be so dense and so insanely thick. Yeah, like just like deep right? dish pizza. Yes, that's all I keep expecting every single time. But they are shocking the hell out of me. It is so soft and tender and so easy to bite into. Intense flavor. So good. It really So is. savory. It, it's one of the most savory things I think I've ever had in my life. It's crazy. Wow. But yes. As we said last time when we did Descendant, Detroit style pizza, the dough is made to, you know, really air out and be really light and fluffy, almost like a focaccia. Honestly, I keep expecting to not like this type of pizza. This is good. This is oh. good. The savoriness, right? It's like I need more taste buds to handle this amount yes. of savoriness. To comprehend wow. the intensity. I Whoa, guess. like my mouth is just, it's like my mouth is on fire, but not but there's nothing spicy. Yeah, actually you're right. It's not spicy. It's just intense savoriness, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, because I was like, there's something that's spicy-ish Yeah, there. but it's not, I think it's It's not just, burning my mouth anymore though. There's just that much flavor. Wow. I think the pizza sauce is really flavorful too. Yeah. So far, like so good. Oh. And after something so <laughs> savory, this is literally the perfect pizza. Mm -hmm. This is called the... Haute Renfrew, <laughs> as in a combination of Haute, Haute cuisine. cuisine and Holt Renfrew. Oh, oh, oh. So this is located in the Renfrew neighborhood of Calgary. So here you go. You get the corner piece this time. Okay. I want the middle piece. Uh, so whenever Detroit style pizza has the sauce on top, it's called racing stripes. Oh. And you really see it with the sour cream racing stripes here, so... What, 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 what? Wow. This reminds me of a pizza that Boston Pizza used to make when I worked there with the potatoes and the sour cream yes. and the, you know, it's like having a baked potato on a pizza, so. Yeah, I, I've had a pizza with potato before. Yeah. And I don't know that I loved it. Yeah. But well, this we're like, yeah, going to give it a chance. A loaded baked potato pizza, basically. Hopefully it's better than the KFC Pizza Hut chicken famous bowl pizza abomination you can see that up there or you can just listen to Pat and Oswald talk about KFC famous bowls that'll give you an idea too can you pile all of those items into a uh, single bowl can I just eat this yes okay <laughs> oh oh mama oh mama okay mm. what are you thinking truthfully I'm gonna be honest with you mm -hmm. I don't know if I love it or hate it this is the strangest thing I've ever eaten I think it's because it's pizza, I'm expecting like way more flavor. The one thing I wish was different is I wish the sour cream was really cold. Yeah. I generally don't care for gimmicky pizzas that don't have pizza sauce. Uh, this one's okay. I'd never take it over a 
regular type of pizza with tomato sauce, yeah. but it's still, I don't, I don't mind it. I honestly cannot decide. And I think if it maybe had a bit more intense pizza sauce or even like more garlicky sauce or something that you can taste more, because all I'm seriously tasting is the bacon and the potato. The potato, I think, is a really big part of it, mm. which, like, I like potatoes. They're just, uh, anything is better than gravy. Gravy as your pizza sauce. Yep. Okay. Okay, what's next? Okay, we have one last pizza, and this is the most unique pizza that we have are trying today. This one is called the Pandemic. <laughs> I don't know why. It, it's got honey on it. It has pistachio on it, but that's weird. I like their slogan: "Pow right in the kisser." Pow right in the kisser. <laughs> ah. Ooh. Good looking pizza. That Ooh. looks like like the small town family restaurant yeah. pizza that I like so much. This one does have jalapenos in it, so we're suffering for our art right now, guys. <laughs> we'll give it a shot. I don't really like the name pandemic for a pizza. I would never name my food after a disease. I'm gonna just eat it. Oh yeah, me too. I'm definitely just gonna eat it. Okay, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Minus the insanely spicy jalapenos, I think this one is my favorite. So this has uh, the mortadella in it. It's so mild though. <laughs> like I had actually completely forgotten there was mortadella in here. Such a unique flavor though. Mm -hmm. I really like this. Mm -hmm. I wish there wasn't jalapenos on it. I do. I should have maybe asked them to not put them, but. No, we got the full experience. I yeah. like it. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really neat combination of flavors. Having pistachio in there. Yeah. I can see why they do the jalapeno because the mortadella is very mild. Yes. The brick cheese is mild. Yeah, it's, a, it's just a nice pizza. But to me, the tomato sauce is so important in pizza, and especially, I think, with Detroit-style pizza. I love mm -hmm. how they have the extra on top. So my favorite of the three is going to be the Italian street meat, followed by this, and then uh, the potato in last by default. Yeah. Yeah, that first one, the Italian street meat. That's your number one? I, yeah, that has, has to, to be. be. Like, has to be. Like, oh, just yeah. like a, it was literally a right in the kisser. How right in the kisser. Anytime from now on I get pizza, I think I'll try to get the tomato sauce, but especially yeah. Detroit style, because I think it's an extra important part of this. So, would you say this is as good as Descendant? No. Unfortunately, it's not to me. Descendant, and it may be that like I'm building it up in my mind and whatever, and it was just perfect. And it was shocking and surprising, and the flavors were intense, and yeah. It, I, I'm happy about the crust of this one. It's yeah. amazing. They nailed Detroit style overall. Perfect. Just yes. like Descendant did. Yeah. I definitely agree with that, mm -hmm. but it does not hit the same as Descendant. Pizza. Well, may maybe we maybe we didn't get as good of flavors. Maybe part of it was us not choosing as good of flavors. I don't know. They didn't really have a ton. Like we I think we chose the three most unique ones, honestly. Uh-huh. Um, there was one with beets and I yeah. yeah, no thanks. I have a surprise for Chris. It's not really a surprise. He knows I ordered this. Mm -hmm. um, I got tiramisu. If you all remember how Chris got out of tasting tiramisu. I didn't get out of it. I tasted it and they didn't put coffee in it, so I win. You can see that up there. But this would be amazing if they had no coffee flavor in this tiramisu. Because coffee's gross. Do you want to try it? Or are you willing to try it? Sure, just because <laughs> the upside is so amazing. Bruce is willing to suffer once again for his art. Well, I do like that I have the most savory thing I've ever eaten right here, ready to go to neutralize the coffee disgustingness. <laughs> okay, so it's like a little cup of tiramisu. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, tiramisu, I think, honestly, like, I love coffee and I would have it with coffee all every time. But I think for someone like Chris, you could definitely make it without coffee. Yeah, I think I'd really like it then. Yeah. Coffee is just disgusting and tastes like dirt. So here I, I've gotten a bit of everything. I've gotten some of this custard or whatever it is. Cream. I get extra. Okay, I'm really doing it here. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> it has coffee in it. Yeah, it does. It <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was, but is it that bad? No, I mean, other than the coffee, it's great. I really do like it, but the coffee is disgusting. I mean, it's like it's like pouring root beer in your Sprite. I mean, 
Like, okay. <laughs> it's just like, why is that there? Okay, it's nice. If you like coffee, I bet you'll just love it. For a pizza place that this is not their specialty, it's a good tiramisu. At least they have coffee. Like we went, we got the other tiramisu from a freaking Italian store. Italian, Italian, Italian restaurant. restaurant. And they didn't have, like that's a shame. I'm so glad that we finally got to try this. And I think if we do ever feel like this style of pizza, I think this is probably the one place we will go to. Mm -hmm. I don't actually know that there's another place that has Detroit style in Calgary. Uh, we have been looking, honestly. Just a really good experience. That dough was perfect. Yeah, like they really did nail the Detroit style. They've yeah. got the, you know, the really crispy bottom and then the pretty much charred. It's supposed to be like that, the pretty much charred mm -hmm. sides because with Detroit style, it was originated with old, you know, tins for car parts and, and all that. Uh, so it's going to have that. It's going to have that charring when they heat it up. And it's by design. And I, I think they nailed the Detroit style, but... They definitely did. Yeah, overall, uh, can't wait to go back to the Ascendant for sure. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, no, if we want Detroit style pizza, I think this will be just fine. Yeah, yeah. So there you have it. Go try them out. Let us know what you think. Uh, if you've got um, magical Detroit style pizza in Calgary that you know about, in your own area, I don't know, who knows where we might travel to, right? Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, thank you so much for your support. If you have not subscribed yet, please click that button, subscribe, support our Fluky Food channel. Mm -hmm. And um, we will see you very, very soon. See ya.